Earlier in the program, we visited a Seward man's collection of planes, trains, and automobiles. He and his wife fill their early 1900s home with these models and many other historic items. In this segment, the couple takes Grace McDonald through a mini tour of their home. Hi, I'm Grace McDonald with Pure Nebraska, and today I'm in rural Seward with John and Susan Blomenberg. How are you two doing? Great. Great. Beautiful day out. It is a beautiful day. And we are sitting in a 1910 home right now. Can you kind of talk about its history? Yes, this house was built a block west of Seward's Hospital for the Jack and Imo Graf's uh, parents. Jack was ac actually born in this house or lived here till he was about six years old. And it was built by John Hughes. Well, that's really great. And you moved it out here yes, too. we did. Yes, we moved it from Seward. It took uh, two days all day long to get it from where it was down to the west part of Seward. When he lifted the house, he could tell how much it weighed and he said it weighs 82 tons. Wow. So, and uh, we really like it because for an older home, it's very open and it's just a very, and then where the site is, it's, it's a very scenic place. And walking through your house, I can tell that art is important to both of you. Well, Susan's been the artist. I'm, I'm, uh, what I do is appreciate it. <laughs> I do the paper mache and getting back into painting. And we enjoy going to the art museums and the art galleries. We have wonderful ones. We have Red Path and Seward, which is just a jam. Your 1910 house is also filled with so many cool antiques. What are a few of them that you would like to point out? Well, I hate to tell you I like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think uh, we have some very uh, unique and rare clocks. There's one and right now. my clock's yep. right on <laughs> the time. <laughs> Which, when you're in a house, you really get used to it. You don't listen. I mean, you don't even hear it. But a lot of people come in and they say, does that ring all the time or chime? And I go, <laughs> yeah, I guess it does, but you get used to it. People say the same thing if they live fairly close to a railroad. They, they yeah. just get kind of used to it. That's right. How important is it to kind of preserve and appreciate these pieces? Well, it's real important. Um, I, I kind of was majored in history in college, and I just think that... Uh, you know, the, the building of America, and especially what I know about is the Midwest, especially farming and that sort of thing. Um, all the things that I'm interested kind of tie back and end with that. And we, we, we really, uh, we should be thankful and remember what it all took to make this happen. I'm really glad that you two have enjoyed your community and enjoyed being here in Seward. Wow, really nice house. Yeah, filled with a lot of cool things. Very cool.